Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we had a great question on one of our earlier videos. They were asking about the 2020 theme, which is the default uh, theme that comes bundled with WordPress at the moment. How you can either get rid of or change the page title, because it's not sort of very obvious how you do that. But of course it's really easy to do with a bit of CSS and we can turn something like this which is the default into something like this or we can get rid of it altogether. So let's get started. I'm using Google Chrome here. I've got the page open with the title on it and I'm going to write some CSS but don't let that put you off because any CSS I write I'll put below the video. You're welcome to use it. So I'm going to right click and inspect the title here and see what we've got. There's our actual page title, the H1 which is the, the font there. There's the header that it's encased in. And there's the actual whole element. So if you wanted to get rid of the element and not have a page title like there at all, you could select this one and say display none and that would get rid of it we're in the chrome so you'd ha have to write that into your theme so while i've done it i guess i'll do that then we'll bring it back and we'll work on customizing it now to write it into the theme i want to copy the actual class which is the entry header right there i just want the first class entry and header then we need to go back to our dashboard and you can go down to appearance and customize or you can just hit the customize your site button if it's on your dashboard there. Once loaded we can go into our additional CSS and we can write it. Here's some that I wrote for a custom post form or password page form. Let's get rid of that. And we'll start up here. So I've got my class name, because it's a class, it needs to start with a dot or a period, and then the class name. Now let's open and close some curly brackets. And I'll rewrite that bit of code which would display none. Semicolon. Now we'll publish it, publish this and we'll check it. And if it doesn't work, we may need to add the important after it to force it, but we'll see if it's going to work or not. So when I refresh, if it's working, things will stay the same. If it's not, it won't. Let's refresh. Yeah, that worked fine. Fantastic. Great. So what I'll do is I'll comment that out so we've got it, and I'll show you how to edit it, change the font, and what have you. So to comment something out, you just encase it in a titled case, which is a forward slash and a star. And at the opposite end, anything between those two stars will not be read as code. OK, so we've commented that out. Let's publish it and go back. Now when we refresh, that will appear again. All right. So say you just want to keep it, but just want to make it small and a little tidier. Let's again, I'm going to right click on the actual title itself. This time we're on the H1 text, which is that page title up there. It's got the class of entry title. So what do we want to do with it? Well, let's change the font family. Change it to whatever you want. I'm just going to say uh, Lato. It's not a whole lot of difference right there. But that's fine and let's make it a lot smaller so let's say font size let's say 30 pixels that's the size it's a lot smaller let's capitalize it let's say text transform and we'll say uppercase there we go that's great so we've got it how we're looking right now. Or we've got it how we want it to look right now. Um, but of course, this isn't permanent. To make it permanent, we've got to write it in like we did with our get rid of it 
script just now. So what else do we want to do? Well, that's fine, but this whole thing, if we go up, it's not the header, it's the entry header right there. This whole thing is too wide. So let's write our font in. Uh, just for fun, I'll change it to red, so you've got a color there if you, if you want to change it. So I'll just write color. And you can put in a hex code, uh, an RGBA code, or write in whichever color you want if you're using this CSS after I've done it. Okay, so we want this to affect our entry title. So I'm double left click on entry title, control C to copy. Let's go back to our customizer. And I can either drop that down or I'll put this below it, I guess. And if I wanted to give it a title, I could just do forward slash, star star, forward slash. And it's page title, isn't it? Makes it easier when you've got a lot of code. If you've got titles like that, it makes it easier to find. So let's paste in that class that we just copied because it's a class. You've got to have a period then the class name, open and close. Now I did several lines of code there, so it's easier rather than a rewrite, I'm just gonna go back to the page, select them from the closing semicolon to the first F of the font family, control C to copy back to our customizer, and in between our curly brackets there, just put that in, and we'll publish let's go back and refresh and that should stay the same fantastic it did great so let's move on to making this smaller or non-existent so we decided it was actually the entry header right there which is what we used to make it disappear earlier on and it's way too thick for a start if you just wanted to change the background color you could just say background white or whatever color and then you'd just be left with your little title like that but there's still that padding there so I'm gonna get rid of that one I'll just uncheck it and let's add a new one and let's say padding we may have to force this because I can see down here it's got a padding of 8 rem uh, top and bottom and 0 left and right so let's say give it 20 picks top and bottom and zero left and right, we may have to force it. 20 picks top and bottom, zero left and right. No, that seemed to work absolutely fine. And let's change the color of it. So I can I can re-enable this. I'm gonna give it a background color of uh, sort of dark gray. Yeah, that's fine. So that's a lot lot tidier, I believe. And again, so we've got to write this in and we've got to get our class name. So it's that entry header one once again. I just want the first class. Go back to our customizer. And I'll drop down. It's a class, so we need the dot. Entry header. Open and close some curlies. <clears throat> bit of space and let's go and take that code that we wrote background and padding control C copy and just paste it between our little curly brackets there tidy that up hit the publish now when I refresh it should hopefully stay the same okay we're going to have to force the background because that's not taken and also the padding so to make this work I'm going to write import, important which is space exclamation important and I'm going to copy it I'm going to put it after the last four of my hex color there. Let's publish. 
Now let's refresh. There we go, and that's forced it to do it for us. Remember, this will be on all your pages because that's the default title. So there's how to customize your 2020 theme page title using a bit of CSS. Like I say, I'll put it down below. You're welcome to use it if you wish. Just change the colors to what you want. And if you decide you'd rather just have none at all, you can just re-enable this up here. And if I do that, I can do that by just deleting that last one and first one. Publish it. It'll probably overwrite all of this because it's just telling it not to display at all. There we go, gone. So there's some options for you. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.